Hello, very quick one today. Just wanted to have a look at the Roberts Sports 925 FM and AM radio. I still listen to radio a lot when I'm driving, uh, at work, at home, when I'm getting ready in the mornings and stuff. Uh, quite often I'll listen on a DAB radio because you get a ton more choice. Very often I'll just use my phone because you've got access to internet radio and an even wider choice. Really good. But I do still think there's a lot to be said for having a backup, standby, emergency, if you will, little FM radio in the UK anyway. There really aren't many options currently in production nowadays. They're trying to kill FM and AM radio, in the UK at least. Still trying to push DAB on us, which is trash really uh, compared to internet radio so there's not many fm am radios that you can buy new currently still in production the roberts sports 925 being one of the very few and i think this is i've had one of these not this one another one i had for about 20 years uh, just in my bathroom my bathroom radio so exposed to tons of steam and everything over the years uh, that actually does still work and i got this one on offer for really cheap and i thought well i'm gonna just snaffle another one because it's been great so why do i think it's good to have a portable long battery life fm radio in 2024 because in the unlikely event of an emergency um, where all your other power goes off you're not going to have uh, access to the internet necessarily if you do have a uh, dab radio its battery will be dead within a few hours so i think a really good idea to just even if you're not going to use it day to day to stash a little fm radio away fm radios are be as i said becoming extremely scarce nowadays and of the, f the models that are available mostly from chinese manufacturers most of them have a dsp chip inside which helps with tuning stability uh, it helps to lock onto radio frequencies a bit better than an analog radio but those dsp chips are kind of on all the time when your radio is switched on so they really drain the battery the kind of longest battery life you'll get out of a um, dsp chipped fm radio is sort of 20 hours a radio running off two double a cells this little radio um, I've always maintained in the many years that I've had my other one that the batteries seem to last me for months. I've just looked on the Roberts website and they state on their website as a selling feature that the batteries in this model will last for about 60 hours, which is really, really impressive. And I haven't found or seen any other small 2AA cell powered FM radio with anything approaching that kind of battery life that's still currently in production. Certainly one with an inbuilt speaker. Uh, so yeah, I think this is for an emergency stash radio. I think this is currently, in the UK anyway, the best option you can get. I can only assume, and I don't know for sure, I haven't been able to find the information to confirm this anywhere, but I can only assume that this is a true analogue radio. No DSP chip, so that DSP chip isn't draining the battery while the radio is on, and that's why you get such amazing battery life about 60 hours i found tuning st stability quite good on this i mostly use it on fm sometimes listen to five live on am two bands fm and am rotary tuning knob there volume and power on button there and sounds pretty good so yeah stash one of these in your uh, in your nuclear bunker or your emergency kit um or like me just have it in your bathroom so you can listen to Radio 4 in the mornings while you're brushing your teeth. Brilliant. In this modern world of high-tech, Wi-Fi, internet, DAB, an old-fashioned, pure, true analogue radio like this might be the only way you have of receiving emergency broadcasts and information in a power blackout. You don't want a radio that's only going to last you 10, 20 hours. Get one like this that's got a 60-hour battery life. Currently about 20 quid on Amazon UK. Playing in the hostel, we used to have a makeshift bag made out of wooden plank and tennis balls. Cross-legged in front of the telly watching... The unforgiving Russian winter certainly doesn't help, but it's not insurmountable. 
the organizers of the cricket tournament.